Hi again everybody, welcome to a new week of reflections uh, from 1 John. We're in the midst of 1 John chapter 3. In the middle of last week uh, we thought about the story of Cain and Abel and uh, how Cain, who belonged to the evil one, murdered his brother. That um, understanding or that sort of um, mindset of murder is picked up in today's reading. Reading from 1 John chapter 3 and verse 14. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love each other. Anyone who does not love remains in death. Anyone who hates a brother or sister is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life residing in him. Again, the Bible is very clear that the um, uh, murder is wrong. But it's not just the physical act of taking away one's life. Uh, what Jesus has taught and what John is reminding us about here is that if we are filled with hatred and loathing for another person, then we are wishing them dead. And that is as much a, a sin as the physical act of murder itself. Now, that can be really hard for us to deal with because, well, who of us from time to time hasn't lost their temper with somebody and really sort of wanted to, to rebel against them? But what John is reminding us here is that this, this dichotomy between love, uh, between life and death is shown in love and hatred. Uh, and we, those who belong to Jesus Christ, those who are disciples of Jesus Christ, those who are followers of Jesus Christ, are to be filled with love. So we are to kind of push away any element of hatred from our lives and from our habits. We know that we've passed from the death that hatred brings to the life that loving brings because we love each other. If we've not done that, then we remain in this state of death. Again, that's a hard thing to hear. But the gospel message is clear that this is serious stuff. This isn't just some whimsical fancy. Jesus isn't some guru that we're to, to um, hook up with uh, and mildly follow because he says nice things. Jesus says, the Bible says, gives us some very challenging words, some very challenging things to, to, to think about. And we need to think about them because if we're going to rebel, if we're not going to live in love, then we are destined to an eternal death. But through the grace of God, through the wonderful love that he has lavished upon us. Do you remember that in verse one of chapter three? He gives us the right to be called children of God. And that means that we're filled with his love and we're able to push out that love and show other people the reality of that love in everything that we do. So let's not uh, stay on the road to death and destruction, but let's follow, follow the narrow path, the sometimes abhorrent path to other people who are trapped in the world, but the path that is righteous and good and holy and love-giving. Let's pray. Thank you so much, Lord, for the love that you've shown us. We simply ask that you help us to be committed to showing that same love to others in every circumstance. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day and uh, I'll share more tomorrow. Take care.